All right, mods close the bets as soon as I make my first move. God, the Gen 1 Gym Leader theme is just so damn good. Did I just get outsped? Okay. Well, that's a crit. Nice. I would've lived that too, I think, maybe. Beautiful start! Beautiful start! I love being- I think my speed DB was really shit, because I think last time I had spit that Diglett too. Okay, so, one of the fossils is gonna come out here. Um, there's a couple options. I don't want to go into any of my ground types though, and, well, Pidgeotto is pretty useless, so my only option is pretty much Ekans and just spam Earthquake. And then sack something to Aerodactyl. And then, um, bring in Cubo to hopefully win. Seems to be my only win condition right now. I don't think I need to glare here. I think I just want to spam EQ. Okay, that's a lot more damage than I was expecting. Nice one shot. That's a crit. May or may not have mattered. I might have to spam potions here until he misses Blizzard. Only have seven potions to deal with though. Nice. Good shit. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm gonna be faster. EQ into EQ definitely kills this and I can take a Blizzard. So after I kill this, I, it doesn't matter at which HP I sit, I can just go ahead and sack, um... Probably Sandshrew for type diversity, and then take out Aerodactyl with Cubone. If this one-shots, I can even glare Aerodactyl. Nope, not even close. This thing has good defense, man. Really? Wow. Okay, that's really rough. Um... Fuck. Can I outspeed this? We're tied for speed. <sighs> Shit. There's no way I can kill this with Pidgeotto. He just dies to Blizzard, but... The thing is, I can't win if Cubone dies here. Maybe I can somehow take it. Actually, I think my way out of this is like literally sand attack hacks. This improves my w chance of winning greatly. Nice. Do I go for another one? Pidgeotto is probably just gonna die, and then like, yeah, okay, I just spam sand attack here, I think, until Pidgeotto is, like, dead. Nice. Maybe it's good to shift over to wing attacking here. I'm not gonna deal any damage to it, though. I just don't think it's worth it. Maybe I can just switch to Sandshrew here, actually. Because I think saving Pidgeotto is better than saving Sandshrew here, because otherwise I get screwed over by a bunch of the water types that I'll encounter later. So yeah, I think switching in Sandshrew here is correct. It's not even good. Uh, okay. 
Swift is strong on a wing attack. Alright, I thought both were 60. But yeah, wing attack is like... Wait, aren't both 60? Might be different in this gen. Oh, it's weakest fucking gen 1? Alright. Okay, this is where Cubone really has to shine. He needs to hit this Bone Morang and he needs to break this speed tie, if it's even a speed tie. This thing might have like perfect DVs or some shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I either need to break a speed tie, be faster in the first place, or he needs to miss behind two sand attacks. But I also need to hit my Bone Meringue, and then I might have a chance to win. Nice. Okay, now we just need to hit our Rock Slides, and we should be fine. This thing used to have Dragon Rage. Do it KO? Nope. But he deals less than 20 damage and I have a bunch of potions. I don't think I can afford to play around crit here and heal. I need to go for the next rock slide. And then potion from there. He deals like 18. Can I even win? I don't think I can win. I think the only way I win is like literally Quick attack, six potions, two HP per potion because fly deals 18, means I restore 12 health and he deals 18. I can't win on potions alone, unless I get a crit here. Let's try it. That was less than 18 damage, right? That was 17. There's also a chance he gen 1 misses. <sighs> potions? I can't win otherwise, I need to spam potions here, that's the only way I win. Go to 10, that's 17 damage again. Wait, so I survive with 3s? Wow, I have exactly enough potions to win here, I think. If he deals 17 every time, but only if he deals 17 every time, and I saw him deal 18 earlier, it doesn't look good for us, but we're gonna have to use up all of our potions here and just see. If he potions himself, I just lose, but we're not even gonna consider that. That was 16. We got this. I think we have this. I think we might have this. Crit. We don't have this anymore. Shit. Well, that's rip. Unless he gets a gen 1 miss. And that's another crit. Ah, looks like we're going to attempt 8. God damn it. I could have had this, dude. Alright. I am i don't know, maybe the AI whiffs somehow. Okay, no chance. Do I have a chance of being faster than this? I don't, right? Aerodex is like one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So what's... can I win? Double quick attack, if anything, right? If anything wins, it's double quick attack, right? That's the most damage I can do, assuming I can take one hit. Actually, no, assuming I can take one hit, the most damage I do is swift into quick attack, right? Well, you could consider if I never kill with that, that I need to sand attack. Would Swift into Quick Attack kill this thing? Aerodactyl doesn't have good defenses at all. Rock Slide could miss. This thing has Rock Slide? Six to defense only. Yeah, I think Swift into Quick Attack is my best bet. He does only use Fly here. I take that pretty well. 
I might have this. If Quick Attack kills here, ooh, it might be really close though. <sighs> Come on. Holy shit. What? Oh my god. We're in this. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Easy claps in the chat, boys! What the fucking shit? What an MVP! What the fuck? Donald, thanks for following, man. <sighs> the sand attacks on the Omanite. Holy shit. And then this. That was great. 